Hi everyone, it's svgcoop.com and we are here bringing you another video on how to create an SVG. We had a friend who purchased an SVG file and we we're going to recreate it because one she purchased was not really um, that clean cut. So I wanted to show you how to make your own version. Sometimes when you purchase these things, you need to be careful. Anyway, we're going to start with a 12 by 12 canvas in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm going to go to File, Place, and I'm going to place the image that I found on Google that she um, purchased. And I'm going to hit Place. This is the original file picture, so not the one that she actually purchased. So what I'm going to do is go to my Layers palette on the right, and I'm going to click on the little menu on top, and I'm going to hit Template. And it's going to gray out the image a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go to uh, uh, Add New Layer. And I'm going to go to my color selector and I'm going to click on the black and white button, but I'm going to get rid of the fill. So I'm just going to hit that red slice there and get rid of the fill. And then I'm going to hit my paintbrush and I'm going to go to stroke and I'm going to round off the cap in the corner. And then I'm going to go to the size of the brush and I'm double clicking on the smallest one and I'm going to change it from a five point to a three and hit OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm not going to draw every single line because I want the image to be cuttable. Um, sometimes when you purchase files, they're difficult to cut so because there's very small pieces. And this will have small pieces too, but not as many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on speed draw right now so that you can see what I'm doing. But you're going to notice I'm not cutting or drawing out the circles for the polka dots. And I also did the eyelashes a little bit differently um, because it just just it's too hard to cut sometimes those tiny tiny pieces so I'm just making sure everything's connected well and I'm going to keep drawing and again not drawing the uh, polka dots I'm also not drawing all of the lines in her shoe because it just would make the file impossible to cut so there we go all drawn what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the colored background piece and I have just the outline, I'm just making sure it looks good, everything looks connected, and we're good. So I'm going to do File, Save. And I had recreated this earlier, but my video kind of went kaplooey, so I'm just replacing the ones that I did before. So I'm just going to hit Save and Replace. And hit OK. And then I'm going to go to File, Export, and Export as a JPEG. So I'm down at the bottom here, the format is going to be JPEG. And you want to make sure that it's set at 300 dots per inch for the resolution. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new canvas. So I'm doing File, New, and I'm going to again use the 12 by 12 canvas size. Hit Create. Now I'm going to File, Place, and with my Command key I'm going to hold the first image, and then I'm going to select the second image that I created. And I'm just going to put the original image to the side here because I'm going to need it for color. And then I'm going to redraw my JPEG here. So now I need my black arrow, and I'm going to select my image that I added. I'm just going to go to Image Trace and let it do its thing, and hit Expand. Next, I want to go to Object and Ungroup so that I can get rid of some of the parts and change the colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command Apostrophe to get a grid behind here so that when I delete these white background pieces, I know that they're gone. So Command Apostrophe, and then just select those white pieces with your black arrow tool and hit delete. And I'm just going to get that one between her legs because that should be a see-through spot. All right, now what I'm going to do is grab my white arrow tool and I'm going to start making the black spaces. So I'm just going to select the fill here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see when you're doing this, you want to select inside the line, not outside the line of the pieces you're trying to turn black. So I'm just going to select inside the line there and hit delete and make sure you're using your white arrow and not your black one. And again, I'm just going to go do this for all the areas that should be black in the image. I'm going to I'm using my space bar and my mouse to move the image around here. So I'm just going to select her eye and get rid of that and get rid of her inside her mouth. And we'll do her arms. And again, not selecting the outside of the lines, but the inside areas. We'll get her nose and her other arm here. Okay, and using the space bar again, just get rid of the black for her legs. Okay, 
So now I'm going to hit Command-0 so that I can see everything. And I'm going to grab my black arrow tool. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to grab the areas that I want to be red. So with my black arrow, I'm going to shift, click on all of the areas that are red. So I'm getting that little piece inside of her dress, her sleeve, and her other bottom here. And I'm going to um, hit the I button and select the color. You'll see it turns to eyedropper. I'm just going to select that red from the original image. Then I'm going to hit Command-8 to turn that into a single piece. Then I can hit my V key to get my black arrow tool again. And I'm going to select her face and hit the I button again and click on her face to get the skin color. Hit Command-8 to turn it into a single piece. Hit the V key, select her tongue, hit the I button, grab the color from the image, hit Command-8, hit the V key again, and I'm going to select her shoe pieces using the Shift key and select, and then I'm going to hit the I button, grab the yellow from her shoe, Command-8. And now what I'm going to do is grab the, I'm going to hit the uh, black arrow, and I'm going to select the red bow. And what I want to do is I'm going to hold down the Alt key because I need a copy of the red. So you see the two arrows? I'm going to shift and I mean, I'm going to hit the Alt key and click and drag it over onto the side. And this is how we're going to take care of our polka dots so we don't have to cut a bunch of circles. I'm going to grab the eraser tool and I'm going to use my right bracket to make it a little bit bigger. You can use the left bracket to make it smaller if you want to. I'm just going to start poking holes in this red section, but what I want to be careful of is I don't want um, to make it so that there's too small of a line going around any area that I cut out. So see how I'm cutting it in the middle? I just want to make sure that there's enough red space around it that when you cut it, it's not too tiny. I cut my pieces generally out of vinyl, so I don't usually have a problem. But if you're cutting with paper, sometimes if you don't give enough space, the piece is going to just be too tiny. All right, so now with the black arrow, I'm going to select those red pieces again, hit Command-8, just make sure, it, again, it's still one piece. And now what I'm going to do is I need to turn this red piece into the white for the polka dot background. So I'm going to select her hand, and I'm going to go to Select Same Fill Color. And it will select all the white that's left. And then I'm going to Shift Select the red, and this is all with my black arrow tool. And I'm going to change the color to this little bit of an off-white. And that's so that when it's in your um, Cricut or your Silhouette, you can see it or your uh, um, other machine. Anyway, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I can get rid of the original because I don't need the colors anymore. And I'm going to drag the white off. I'm going to grab my white arrow tool because I don't need a white background for everything. So her sleeve doesn't have any polka dots. And that little piece next to her finger that's red, I don't need that either. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to grab my black arrow tool again, and I'm just going to make sure everything is still a single piece, which it is. Okay. So now I'm going to start dragging off the color pieces off of my image because we need a black background. So I'm just going to drag them out of the way. And then I need my white arrow tool. I'm going to start selecting inside the image. You have to make sure you do not go outside of your image and get the outside of that outside line because uh, it'll delete your whole image. So I'm just going to select these areas and uh, get rid of them. And I'm gonna make sure I don't get that little spot between her legs, because that needs to stay open. And I'm gonna grab my black arrow tool and select all of the black area. And you're gonna see some funky lines in there that you didn't notice, and we need to get rid of those. So we're going to go to the Pathfinder, and we're gonna hit Unite, and you'll see they go away. And then I'm going to do Object, Arrange, Send to Back, and that will put it in the background of everything. And then I'm going to hit Command-8 to make sure that it stays a single piece. Okay? All right, now we're ready to rebuild her. So we're going to put the white piece of the bow back. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys to get it sort of where it needs to be so that the outline is about the same distance all the way around. And I'm going to put the red bow on, and you're going to notice that the red is not all the way showing through. That's because it's in the back. So we're going to do Object, Arrange, Set, Bring to Front. And there you go. And then we're going to get her face on there. We're just going to nudge it around with the arrow buttons on the keyboard just to line it up just right. And then we'll put her tongue where it needs to go. Again, using the arrow keys just to line it up. And then her shoes, of course. All right, now that she's all set, we're going to select everything. And we're going to hit Command-G, or Object Group. We want her to 
be a single piece. So when you put her into your machines, it's going to look like Minnie Mouse and not parts all over the place. So now that it's grouped, you can see that it says ungroup, so it's grouped. All right, so now we're going to save her. I'm going to do file save. And again, I'm replacing files that I already had there, um, but you can rename it anything you like. And just hit OK. And then file save as. And I'm going to save it as an SVG. Hit save. And because I'm going to load this up so you can see it, I'm going to do file export as a JPEG. And I'm going to make sure that it's an RGB type. So I'm just replacing the same file, but see the color mode, I'm changing that to RGB. And it's 300 dots per inch, and I say OK. Alrighty, now what I want to do is I'm going to um, place the picture of the uh, file that my friend purchased. And I just want to do a quick comparison of what she got compared to um, what this file that we just created looks like. So this file is actually not going to cut that nicely. There's a lot of slight cuts in here that you don't really notice until you click on it. So um, if you look, see like her sleeve and everything is just not rounded nicely and it's kind of cut a little bit weird. And um, when you click, look, see how that's just not rounded nice. Um, the polka dots are not round. And if you look at, see her nose, there's little dot there and like by her eye, that's all gonna try to cut. And see those little lines that show up? Those are gonna cut as well and you don't want them to. Uh, it's gonna make it very, very difficult. So this file is, it looks like somebody just tried to trace it and they just kind of did a bad job, I hate to say. Um, and you look at this bottom, there's like, see those little lines, those are gonna cut and then there's this gap here with a little line and it's just not gonna cut nicely at all, unfortunately. Um, so she also has the I do one here, so I figured, well, we might as well add that too. So we're gonna move Minnie over and I'm gonna grab my text tool. So I'm just gonna grab, it's a big T right there. And I'm just gonna draw a little space and I'm just gonna type in I do. And it's a uh, Disney script that was used. So I'm gonna make the font a little bit bigger so we can see it. And then I'm going to change the font type to Disney. So I'm just gonna type in Disney and it will show up. And it takes me a second here to get down to the Walt Disney script. I'm just checking to make sure which one she used. And there we go. So I'm gonna click on that. All right. And then I'm gonna, with the black arrow, select the type. And then I'm gonna to go to Type, Create Outlines. And then I need to ungroup it. So I'll do Object, Ungroup. And then I'm gonna select the I and hit Command-8. And then I'm gonna hit the Do and hit Command-8. And that will make those um, cuttable pieces. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger here move it around to where I want it. Just gonna move that to the left a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select everything and I just wanna fit it on this 12 by 12 mat. So I'm just gonna hold the shift key and shrink that down a little so everything fits on our mat. And there we go, I'm gonna hit Command Zero so you can see it all and um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed our video. I appreciate you watching and uh, we will be back with more. Take care.